There we go. Good morning, St. Hubert's. It's so great to be here with you all today. As Mr. Sonsaber said, my name is Jean Landis. I'm the director of Dual Enrollment Pathways at LaSalle University. That means I have the honor of working with high school students just like you who are interested in taking college credits. Today, I want to introduce to you a new program at LaSalle, LaSalle's Early Achievement Program, or LEAP as we're calling it. LEAP is for current sophomores and juniors. I think we may have some freshmen in the audience too. It's good to plan ahead and think of this as a goal for the following year, so I'm glad you're all here with us today. Um, students will need a minimum GPF 3.0. They will have the opportunity to take up to 10 courses over seven semesters and earn up to 30 credits all before starting your full-time career in college. That's a whole year of college credits. Um, there is no cost to the student, the families, or the school. Tuition and books are free of charge. That means that LaSalle, that's a safety. Students will have in-person on-campus opportunities for learning and online opportunities for offers three unique pathways or theme tracks within their programs. Exploratory studies is a track where students can explore. They can explore their interests, what they're good at, figure out what they want to be after high school. Health and Human Services is a track where students will learn more about public health, psychology, human development, science, and ethics. Our science, business, and technology track it's just that. But it's a way for you to better understand how these separate but interconnected disciplines can combine to create new and interesting career paths. Good morning. Good morning. So it's good to see everybody. Uh, you've probably seen me lurking around the halls. I actually teach a business course now. So I want to tell you a little bit about dual enrollment as it relates to uh, the opportunities each of you have. How many of you want to start your own business? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of, kind of crazy to think about that, you know, as a as a sophomore or a junior. But what we're finding is, is that young adults today are looking at the opportunity of being their own boss. Does anyone, does anybody want to be a nurse? Yeah, or potentially work in healthcare, right? So yeah, okay, great. So what we have is we've got two unique certificate programs at Manor. We've got our entrepreneurship program, which is 18 credits. Okay, so it's, it's, it's a little over a full semester uh, of college credits that you'll earn while you're here at St. Hubert's. We're building a business plan. So think about, everybody has seen the show Shark Tank? Yeah? Well, we're working on coming up with a business idea developing a business plan, and so when you complete the program, you could, you could literally have a well-developed business plan that you've learned about every aspect of business that you could potentially start a business while you're in college. Now, anybody that wants to work in the medical field, we're developing a, a unique program, so it's, uh, it's a applied health professional, pre-professional we're calling it. So what it's gonna do is, it's, again, 18 credits. And it's really geared towards anybody that wants to work as potentially a nurse, healthcare, administration, science courses, nutrition, and really get you prepared for some of those science-specific courses. So then you could come to Manor for little, almost one year and finish your LPL program and be ready to go out in the workforce in, a, in, in, that, in that particular capacity. Is, is that our professors come here. You're going to be taking college level courses in person. All right, so you will, I come to, I come to St. Hubert's three days a week. That will continue as we move through the different certificate programs. If you just want to take, let's say, one course, one college level course, you can always take an existing course at Manor whether it be online or in person, if it fits in with your schedule. So you don't have to necessarily be locked into a certificate. If, that's, if you just want to take an extra class, you want to learn about something, and it's approved by the administration here at St. Hubert's, you can always just take one class. So at this time, does anyone have any questions about 
view to the programs or anything with that. The transferable to other colleges is always dependent on the college you apply to. Most of these programs, and I'll let them both comment on this, they've designed these that they've noticed in their careers that these are the courses that are most likely to be transferred. Science courses that you would take as part of the certificate, so it's an 18 credit, six, six classes, again, between your junior and senior year, it would be nutrition, anatomy one and two, uh, psychology, technical math, and healthcare administration. This, this is 100% an option for students. This is not a requirement at all for students. This is this is this is an add-on option. The matter courses are designed that that's an all-in cost, so there's no additional fees in terms of textbooks. Um, administrative fees. Really, when you take a math course, we provide all of those resources in the classroom for you. So it is to the families, it is an all-in cost of, of only $150 per course. They are not mandatory. They're strongly encouraged. Um, we feel that summer experience is very valuable to our students, um, that in-person on-campus experience, but we understand that there are other commitments in students' lives. So students can start in the fall, um, but again, if they're able to start in the summer, we really encourage that. So the students are not required to complete this certificate program. They can get involved. Um, they can get involved and take just the, the, the fall and, and spring class. So this is open to um, any student that is moving from their sophomore to their junior year, or any student moving from their junior to their senior year. Uh, yes, so um, summer will run June 21st through July 28th. The students will be on campus Tuesdays and Thursdays from about 9 o'clock in the morning till about 2.30 in the afternoon. If it's an online class, um, our, our summer one session starts in May, uh, and then our summer two session starts in July. Um, and the dual enrollment, it pretty much, uh, it, it gives you those college credits rather than having to take that AP exam and pray for that four or five. Uh, so it's a little less stressful because you, uh, often it's a C or better in a college and that transfers and counts as those college credits where uh, that four or five uh, can be a little stressful. And still some schools, it's even, they don't acknowledge every AP and similar to these dual enrollment classes. While both of our schools will take them in, um, at, it, because you're taking them with us. Uh, some schools still might not recognize the college credits uh, if you do transfer outside of one of our programs, uh, but um, it, the chances are pretty strong that they will because they are college credits already. Uh, and you don't, as long as you get a C or better, uh, they usually transfer right in. These are actually completely separate programs compared to the DASAS and Scholar programs. At this moment, it has been the general agreement that the only courses that will count part of the GPA for the students will be the courses that they take during the fall and spring of their academic year. So no, the, there's no impact. Um, as long as there's still a seat open in the fall, your daughter is welcome, more than welcome to join us in the fall. Um, we wouldn't penalize anyone for not being able to join us in the summer. And I would just add for, for Manor, same, same thing. Uh, if, if, if your daughter's goal is to complete the certificate, then they would have to start their, their junior year. 
if they're just learn, looking to earn a couple extra credits or, or they can do them sort of as what I like to call sort of one-offs where they could take, you know, just maybe their senior year uh, and earn six credits as opposed to the full certificate. So this is part of their elective deciding if this is something that they want to do with that. Um, I will say this, uh, one of the issues that I've noticed here at St. Hubert's over the past couple of years is I've had a number of juniors and seniors that have had a study hall um, during their um, time. And so they normally have a free period anyway. Uh, we actually firmly believe by doing this dual enrollment, we actually can have a more robust selection and reduce the amount of study halls and to hopefully make sure that students are able to uh, have seven classes uh, throughout uh, the full day of school. 